same creek, different spot, but still beautiful as ever. All right, I think I found a piece that is really pretty neat. Let's go down in on it, just to see. Yep, that's a neat piece. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, I'll get back to you. Well, I think I finally have something. Not finding a whole lot of tremendous, just little pieces, but uh, you just keep looking. Uh, let's see. Finding it again. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack sometimes. And then I find it, and then I misplace it. Earlier, as I was uh, taking pictures before I started the video, I found what I think was a piece of coral, but I cannot find it now. It's like, you know, this is how hard it is to find things. All right, now here, I think, is a piece of Rugo's coral right here. Yep. Right there. I believe that's what that is. And right next to it is a little itty bitty crinoid stem. See it? Yep. There you go. Pan out, let you see it. There you go. Rugos coral, 350 million years old. Pretty neat. Mostly turned to sand, but you can see, if you look, you can see the texture of the inside of the coral right there. It's horn coral. That's neat. Just to show you again, as you're walking, you want to keep your eye out for the weird shapes. And... There you see a little sandstone plate with crinoids on it. Now we can turn it over, see if it has anything better on the other side, but usually they don't. Nah, I'll probably take them. I'll probably take them. He's kind of cool. He might go out in the garden, but I'll take him home, give him home. Now we got this little chunk of quartz crystal. He's kind of pretty. I'll take him too. I'll gonna see if I can polish him at all. Well, again, there's there's our cigar right there. Okay, or something like it. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with my finds today already. So I'm just gonna keep moving. And I'll keep looking. See if I see anything. If I miss something, let me know. I'll come back. It's another day. Now, yeah, right here, maybe this this could be a twig. May not be a crinoid, but it is. Look at that. There you go. Another crinoid salvaged from the shores. Uh, picking up this big geode. Not smart on my part, but I can't leave them. Uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, this is kind of unique and lumpy. I don't know what this is. Huh. No idea, but he's coming home. It's kind of neat. This is a good spot right here. Just looking and seeing what you can find. There's one right there. Look at that. See? I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay. Oh, I get it. Wow. 
Well, I've had fun. This was a fun one. New, new place to look. Every now and then, you got to find a new place and see what you find. Beautiful stream. Beautiful stream. We will not be walking in that. It's probably uh, up to my waist. So, water is just a little too cold for that. All right, let's walk this way a little bit. I'm going to put him right here at the crossroads and we're going to go over here for a second just to take a look just want to see what we see pretty neat These spots right here, if you can get into it and get around it somehow with a boat or something, can be quite interesting. All right, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, I'm back. Pretty much about two minutes after I said I'd be back uh, because I just turned and looked down in the water and I saw the texture. Very dark stained piece, but really a fabulous piece. Check that out. And right next to it, I pulled out that little shell. Is that cool or what? All right. So they're coming. Neat little pieces. I always love the little ones. And again, that guy's a gift. We'll take him and we'll put him with our big guy. Now, you can imagine how big that is, seeing my hand and then that. It's twice the size of my hand, that geode. And it's not that heavy. 